So I really liked um, how you told me about the dance and when you'd go through the dance. So I just have a few questions just about the yes. dance. Okay. Um, it was just a small dance hall. It was in Herefordshire. It, this particular dance hall was in the country. Okay. So we had lots of bats flying through our hair when we cycled there. <laughs> I heard that a policeman jumped out of a Oh bush. yes, and I think that the police had reports that people were cycling without lights on. Finished the dance, and when we came out, somebody had taken my lamp off my cycle. I didn't know, I thought, well, I'm not going to walk home. So we were cycling, and then a policeman came out of the shrubs and stopped us and he said to me where where's your light and I said that somebody had stolen it and he said oh yes that's what they all say no I said I'm telling you the truth somebody has stolen my light so what do I do now I can't walk the way home so he said well you can cycle home, but you have to cycle in the middle of the others. And he said, I want you to report to the police station to, in Kington tomorrow morning. So I went to the police station the next morning and I told them how my light had got stolen. And I also, or they also asked me where was my identity card because you had to have your identity card and I hadn't got that. So I had to stand in the police station and re repeat my identity number a hundred times. <laughs> I, I almost laughed because to me it sounded quite, you know, being a school <laughs> I was fined 30 shillings. <laughs> I think it was about six weeks' wages. <laughs> yes, it was quite an event, really. When I was 16, I, I had to do a job of national importance in this um, military hospital laundry, the Kington Camp Hospital. They had big machines. And they were like two very big, long rollers. And that's when you had to stand on a, a, a step thing. And two people were that end, feeding the sheets in. And they would come through the rollers and we had better have all steam, hair soaking wet. <laughs> and then we used to put them through until they were dried. It... It wasn't a very nice job, but we were happy because we were doing all the laundry from this big American hospital with all the wounded yes. soldiers. We used to um, do funny things, you know, to cheer us up. We used to put little notes in the laundry that belonged to the whoever it was. <laughs> we used to say funny things and... How about a date? <laughs> things like that, you know, and that's what you did. Cheer things up a bit. Yeah. And we did meet quite a few Americans. But um, it was sad because they were a long way from home. And they didn't have visitors from America. And we used to visit them in the wards, which wasn't very nice because they were... Some of them had shrapnel wounds and their feet used to be hanging out of the bed, all black with um, frostbite and all sorts of things. We had General Omar Bradley of the American Forces. He visited the hospital and he came down to this laundry to see us and to thank us all for the good job we were doing. So you felt but like you were helping we, them? We did cheer them up a bit. Yeah. And I used to make them laugh, say funny things. You know. But I used to sing lots. Chattanooga Choo Choo. Wow. Oh. 